Today I will show you how in just a few steps you can configure an S7 300 telecontrol station with Synod SD7, connect its basic functions such as alarm and command transmission to a control center and start it up. We have prepared a sample project. It consists of an S7 300 telecontrol station with station number 10 and a control center with station number 1. The task is to gather messages directly from the digital input module and transmit them to the control system. We would also like to output commands from the control system to our digital output module. I have already created an S7 project and will start with the configuration by first adding an S7 PC station with the name ST7CC as the control center. As a substation we add an S7300 with the name station 10. Then we switch to the hardware configuration of station 10. Based on our real hardware setup, I configure the S7300 standard mounting rail, a CPU 312C, the TIM 3VIE module and our digital and analog input and output modules. We now switch to the hardware configuration of the PC station and first place an application that we will rename ST7. Then we provide our PC station with an Ethernet network card and in the next step we will configure the network. In the network configuration of NetPro we first add an industrial Ethernet as the WAN network. We connect both the control center and the station's TIM 3VIE module to the Ethernet network and, if necessary, modify the IP addresses. In the TIM object properties we set a time synchronization interval. This is the interval at which the control center provides the station with the precise time, for example 6 hours. Then we compile and save NetPro and switch to the ST7 configuration. In the CNOT ST7 configuration we first open the connection configuration. There we configure the communications relationship between the substation and the control center by selecting the corresponding connection from the possible connections and adding it to the configured connections. We save this and switch to the station administration. There we assign the station numbers. A station number is the individual communications address of all communications partners within an ST7 project. It is used to exchange process data. Process data can be pressures, measured values, temperatures, commands or alarms. As we specified, the control center is assigned subscriber number 1 and the station is assigned subscriber number 10. For TIM modules we recommend keeping the default setting. If I were to compile and load the project now, the station could already communicate with the control center, however, without exchanging process data. To exchange process data, we must first retrieve data points from a library and set the parameters accordingly. For this purpose, we select the TIM module and open the library called TD7 on TIM. We generally recommend including the partner status in the basic parameters. The partner status is a block that monitors communication with the control center and can display it on the CPU. We select the partner to be monitored, this is our ST7CC control center, and output the connection status, for example directly to a digital output module. In our project, this module has the output byte address 128. We would like to transmit messages and analog values and receive commands. For this purpose, we add the corresponding data points from the TT7 on TIM library. For binary values or messages, that is the BIN04 block. For the analog values, the ANA04 block. And for receiving commands, we install the command block. We close the TD7 on TIM library and I start setting the parameters of the event signaling block. To do so, I select the BIN04 block and activate the first of our four channels. I indicate the source address from which the alarm or message will be read. We read directly from the digital input, for example we set the input byte address 4. Then we configure the partner station to which the object will be sent. This is our ST7CC with control center number 1. If needed, the object number can be adapted. In our case, we will use the default assignment. 
The default method for transmitting the objects is called image memory method. This means that only the values that are present when the connection is active are transmitted. Intermediate values are lost. If we uncheck this option, we are choosing what is called the send buffer principle. The send buffer principle means that all values, including the timestamp, are buffered on the TIM and transmitted at the given time. Finally, we recommend the fast read cycle for messages and alarms. This guarantees the data from the CPU will be gathered immediately. Next, I set the parameters of the analog value. To do so, I select the ANA04 block and activate the first of our four channels. We specify the analog input directly as the source address, making this the peripheral input word 288. Since we are directly accessing a process input that changes dynamically, we assign a so-called threshold value to check it. The threshold value presents the value from being continually transmitted, but only when it has changed by, for example, 1%. Since we are reading directly from the peripheral input, the analog value moves in a valid range between 0 and 27,000. Thus, a value of 270 corresponds to 1%. Now we also address this block on the destination station number 1, and the remaining parameters are assigned, like the bin 04 block. To do so, we activate another channel and specify a destination address to which the command will be output. In our case, directly to the digital output with output byte address 4. Here as well, we specify a partner, thus the command source from which the object originates, and an object number. This completes the configuration and we can now compile and load the project. For loading the configuration, we have already connected the programming device to the TIM module and we assign an IP address to the TIM via the PST tool. Next, we first load the CPU and then the TIM module. Once the TIM module is loaded, it independently performs a restart to apply the configuration data. The station is already configured in the control system. Once the station has started up, its faceplate displays the connection status. The station status which is from not available to available. The FC partner status shows the connection status to the control center. Now we will generate an alarm on the digital input module and we see. The alarm is displayed immediately on the control center by a change in color and an alarm message appears in the alarm log. If we now want to perform a command, we simply click our prepare command button and the command is immediately output directly on the digital output. A measured value or analog value from the CPU is automatically transmitted to the SCADA master. The analog value is displayed in a picture variable and stored in the measured value archive. As we can see, in just a few minutes we have configured a telecontrol station and its basic functions and started it up. We will show you how to configure the control system with WinCC and CNOT ST7CC in another video.